What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike Sasser here, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California. But in this video, we are in Bali. Yes, I went to Bali for a little bit of fun in the sun and to create some amazing images and share them with you. So in this video, we have an amazing behind the scenes video with an amazing model, Kirsten, in an amazing villa. And in this video, we're gonna give you some tips on using light reflections, using props, and even some shutter speed tricks. So make sure you stay tuned. So yes, we shot in this jaw dropping villa with our amazing model, Kirsten, around noon, which can be scary for some photographers, but I don't mind as long as I have some to work with. Okay, so yeah, you can just kind of like, this is pretty sturdy. But you just kind of put your butt up against the door and then we'll just kind of like play around with this. Let's talk about the looks we're gonna do for this shoot. So my goal was to get some boudoir style photographs here. So we have this crochet dress with no back. We also have some lingerie looks coming up in the video. And we finished, of course, with some bikini photos in the pool. Okay, first couple are just like to get settings set. That's great. Very cute. Okay, just kind of peeking down a little bit, like kind of in your own space. Love this. Let me see my bright blue shirt is showing in these reflections. But they look really pretty. Oh yeah, nice. This is beautiful. All right, one, two, three, that's great. Maybe like um, do like a little crisscross of the feet. Maybe switch them. Yeah, I like that. Bring the shoulder just like a little bit more forward like this. Yes, right there is beautiful, right? These are so good. Oh, so nice. They're like really gentle. Wow, I love it. I like yeah. the camera. I like the camera. All right, so far off to a good start. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. Let's have you sit in this little pocket of light. Let's see what it looks like. Um, like maybe sit down. Quick quiz. What is the most Bouncing. important part of a photo? Yeah, that's well, cute. it's the emotion, but the second most important part of the photo is the light. And you're gonna see here, this is an interesting one because the light hitting her right now is not the direct sun. It's actually reflecting off of that window. You can see the light on my body is hitting me from the front, but the light for her is coming from the left side of the screen. So the window is creating this mirror like harsh light that's going in and hitting her. Do that, do that pose. I love that, but with the hair in front of your hand. But don't skip out on trying to use a harsher, more direct type light. Yes, this pose looks great. Okay, breathe through your mouth. And actually go ahead and just do that for like 10 seconds. Like in this particular situation, what I'm trying to do is get some really defined shadows on her face, some harsh lines that are cutting directly down the half of her face. And having those very sharp lines that show some parts of her are in light and some parts are in shadow are gonna create some really interesting portraits. I love that, maybe like one arm long and then the other arm, yes, right there. Okay, that's perfect. A little straighter, yes, I love that. I love it. I'm sweating so much. Wow. My incredible videographer, Nicolas, I'm gonna tag him below, wanted to shoot some slow motion video of her walking across this pool. Now this isn't a composition that I had thought of, but when I saw her moving and I saw her standing there in front of that greenery, I was like, I've gotta try this too. Roll your shoulders in, maybe fingertips here, something like that. This view is so pretty. Yes, beautiful, stay there. You're good. If you need a break and go down to your feet for a sec, you can do that. All right, you can see me give her a break here because she's definitely getting tired staying on those tiptoes. That's hard work. And just be aware of that with your clients. So if they're arching their back for a long time or they're holding a pose for a long time, know that they're putting in a lot of effort to be able to do that. And if you're gonna check your camera and flip through some pictures, just remember to let them know, hey, take a break. You can relax right now. I think what we're gonna start with, with you on your stomach. All right, take a look at that background. That bed is like perfectly made, but there are tons of cables there in the background. So what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna clean up those cables. We're gonna get rid of any distracting elements, but 
That bed also looks like we're at a hotel, like nobody's lived in it ever. So we're gonna mess that up to make it look more natural, more real, like she's hanging out at home and she just took a moment to come lay on this couch because that's how people lay on the couch in their lingerie in the, in the perfect light. This is real life, guys. Covering your left eye. Yes. I always forget which side's left and which side's right. Why don't you turn around and lay on your back? Okay, I'm gonna try some from up here. Stay there, wow, this is gonna be great. Let's get both hands up. And then rotate your hips just a little bit towards the light, not much, that's perfect. Okay, roll your chest back towards me this way, right there, even one more inch. Right there is beautiful. Because the light's coming in here, I think as it kind of comes across your back, it's gonna look really pretty. So let's have you sit on your knees and face that way. Exactly. And then you'll pull your hair a little bit more forward because I'm gonna be shooting the lines of your back. Exactly. And then with your hands, you can kind of go like this so that your shoulders kind of squeeze together. One more. That's great. And do one shaking your hair back behind you. You can just. So at first, I just wanted a shot of her with her hair back. And then as I saw her toss her hair, it made me think of slowing down my shutter speed and getting like an in motion shot, something that's like a little bit blurry okay, that has two, some motion three, blur in it. And this took us a couple tries to get right, but I absolutely love the looks that these yes. images give. That did it. Wow, the teamwork. The teamwork necessary. Wow, that's so nice. That's pretty cool. My back looks so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take good pictures of backs. <laughs> we all love backs. One more in that kind of vibe where you're sort of like, um, like throwing the hair around. We'll just get like a little bit of a close up. Mm -hmm. So it'll have a little bit more of that motion. Because the camera is doing a slow shutter oh. speed, I want your face to be relatively still, but your hair to be moving around it. Okay. That's great. Beautiful. Okay, peeking at me. Whoa. I love it. That's beautiful. So cool. So years ago, I took a workshop from a guy named Max Thompson. His work is absolutely incredible, but there's just something about it that I couldn't quite put my finger on. And while listening to him talk, he talked about the importance of adding an extra element more than just the girl that's in the picture, have something else, have an additional element. So in this case, we use this little book to give her, you know, reading in her little nook, having a nice Sunday morning to herself. And I really love them. This is a common mistake that many beginner photographers have. Once they get into a rhythm, you're getting your pictures that you love, you found a pose that is amazing, and you end up not wanting to change anything. But you can see, I really loved the initial pictures we got, so we gotta try something new. We can't sell the same picture 10 times. So we tried to have her hold the book down by her side. I loved that shot. After I know I love that shot, then what's next? Well, hold it up by your face. Let's try and get a couple of different looks in here and see what we like. And we loved them. Oh my God, these shears were so amazing, but Shears are actually kind of tricky to shoot with because they're so bright with the sun hitting them. So my big tip for shears is to shoot darker, shoot underexposed. And then later in the software, you can brighten up your subject where you need to. That's great. 
shaking your hair back behind you. Pretty convenient, the seat is right here. Wow, yes, just let it, just let it kind of blow all around you. That's amazing, it's moving. Well, Bali's full of just amazing pools. And if you're gonna go there and not take a single picture by one, I gotta say, I think you're missing out. But we're shooting at about noon right now and it's bright. The sun is almost directly above her, but that's okay. I just put it barely behind her and know that the images we're gonna get are pretty punchy. All right, so it's time to get her hair wet. And this wasn't supposed to be a photo, but her leaning back ended up giving me an idea. So the, the moral of this one is just always keep your eyes out for something natural that'll happen. Don't get so stuck in your poses and these are the poses that I know that look good and so I have to make sure that these are gonna be one of the ones that I stick to. And just look for the natural movement of the person that you're shooting and you might see something that will really be amazing in camera. Playing with your like castles there on the side. This is great. Okay, we're facing the other way. Love that. Anything that's like not super normal that we could uh, that we could shoot. I know swim is like one of the most overshot things ever. I almost never shoot swim. And I think swim is, you know, it's okay, it's fine. But when I look at swim, swim looks like swim. I'm gonna see how many times I can say swim in a row. But basically, I was just trying to get something outside of the norm. Like, cool, we got pretty shots in the sun. Cool, you're in the water. And using the palm trees with her up against the dark background of the glass is what I came up with. Put your hips back a little further. Nice, beautiful. Oh, that's a good pose, that's a good pose. Like, I feel the thank you even more when it's in that accent. It's like extra, extra thank you. I'm really happy. Thank I'm you glad. so much. Thanks for coming out and making this happen. If you liked the way these photos looked, you should check out the Ever Summer presets that I created. They were specifically designed for skin tones and smooth tonal transitions to reduce the amount of overall editing you would have to do. There are amazing color options as well as stunning black and white presets. And for anything else posing, business, or boudoir related, check out boudoircourses.com to reach your photography goals.